It is typical of northern cities like Delhi to see a drop in air quality around the months of October and November. But this year, Mumbai has also seen a sharp dip in air quality. This month, Mumbai has recorded a 45% increase in PM2.5 components compared to last October, according to the Central Pollution Control Board data. Why though? The main uh, point here is that uh, we, we are seeing more and more increased instances where uh, Mumbai especially is is um, also Pune uh, and Ahmedabad and few other cities also looking like uh, having a higher you know pollution levels comparable to the cities in the indo gangetic plains. Uh, this is because of various factors. One is the, definitely the meteorological conditions where uh, the uh, there is a there's a situation where the wind movement is uh, very low. Uh, and uh, it is not able to take away the disperse the pollutions uh, which are uh, there uh, created in the cities and the main uh, point we need to see here is that how the cities are uh, how our activities the various activities in the cities are also increasing the contributing to the increase in the pollution one of the main reasons is garbage and solid waste burning in the open the quantity of garbage collected by the bmc is only increasing in 2022, the BMC collected an average of 6,385 metric ton of garbage per day from 24 municipal wards, 15% more than 2021. To make matters worse, waste segregation is only restricted to gated societies, which means in slum areas, due to lack of awareness, people end up burning that waste. Another major reason, according to BMC's Mumbai Air Pollution Mitigation Plan, is the dust from construction sites and debris, especially since we are seeing multiple major constructions in Mumbai, including the coastal road, metro, building construction and redevelopment of existing structures. Right, This connection between pollution and the construction industry has not happened till now. So we need to systematically bring this in the in the understanding of the civil engineering fraternity right uh, for instance this is not taught as a very important subject in the engineering schools we need to innovate in finding construction related products which will help the builders to reduce emissions this increasing air pollution has also been attributed to the usage of unclean fuels in restaurants tabas bakeries etc Lastly, experts believe a range of industries, including those using ready mixed concrete plants and casting yard plants, also contribute immensely to Mumbai's depleting air quality. What kind of an impact is this likely to have? Since 2016, Mumbai has been reporting an increasing number of fatalities due to respiratory diseases, including COPD and lung cancers. This winter, doctors in Mumbai are claiming a higher influx of patients complaining of chronic cough. Air pollution, we know, is a public health emergency. And even in Mumbai and Maharashtra, we know that it is among the top four killers today uh, in the state. And, uh, and the, all the new studies that are emerging, not only in India, but especially in different parts of the world, it's very clear that what we breathe and when these very toxic tiny particles go inside our lungs, they are so tiny that they can break through the blood barrier, get mixed with our bloodstream and hit each and every organ of our body. In fact, today is scary because conventionally we always thought that air pollution is perhaps only related to respiratory problem. It affects your lungs and your you know, respiratory conditions. But that's now been, you know, that myth's now busted and it's been said that almost all metabolic diseases are now today affected by air pollution. And that's simply because it's going and reaching all parts of our body. So today, starting from cancer to stroke to ischemic heart disease, blood pressure, diabetes, even the newborn baby or even the fetus inside the womb of a pregnant mother, you know, they're all being affected by air pollution. So what can we do about this? 
that if vehicles are a big contributor today, then you have to ensure that in Mumbai, you are able to meet a very ambitious target for electrification to have zero emission vehicles uh, on your streets so that you don't, you can, you almost eliminate tailpipe emissions. But at the same time, you need to scale up public transport system, an integrated public transport system with walking, cycling, and um, uh, support infrastructure so that at least um, a close to 90% of the motorized trips can be shifted to public transport. At the same time, while you are scaling up public transport, you need to also do uh, restraint measures. So have demand management measure like parking policy where the parkers should be uh, able to pay for the, the right price for using public land for parking their cars. And similarly, the congestion pricing, et cetera, so that you are able to reduce the usage of personal vehicles and scale up public transport options. The BMC today has issued a list of guidelines to help curb air pollution, particularly caused due to the increasing construction happening in Mumbai. All sides should have at least 35 feet high tin or metal sheets around the periphery of construction projects. All the buildings under construction or under demolition should be covered. Any uncovered building under construction will face a stop work notice from the BMC. There should be continuous sprinkling or spraying of water during the process of demolishing the structure. This is mandatory. Evidently, a lot needs to change not only at a systemic, but a personal level as well. What would you like us to talk about next? Tell us in the comments.